be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Santos versus Cologne. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Miss Santos, you are here today because you say the love of your life and the father of your child, Raymond Cologne, was fatally shot just six months ago. You are petitioning the court for a paternity test to prove to his mother that he was and is the father of your four-year-old son, Julius. Ms. Cologne, you have the court's deepest sympathy for the loss of your son. In your statement, you argue that your son, Raymond, is not Ms. Santos's child's father because you know she was also sleeping with another man during the time her son was conceived. Furthermore, you say, you believe the only reason Ms. Santos is claiming that your son is the father is because she wants to collect his social security and life insurance benefits. All right, Ms. Santos, please tell us, how did this begin, this relationship with Mr. Cologne? The thing was, it was such a secret because me and Raymond grew up together from Pampers. Like it, cousins. Like cousins. That's why it was such a secret. We don't have blood in our system. We don't have the same blood running through our system. No, you don't have the but same blood. But we did grew up together. That's why it was such a secret. That's why I kept this pregnancy such a secret. He you bring it out. You should not sleep with him, period. Such a secret. Because we grew up together. All you right. should not slept with him, period. So you grew up together, meaning you all were in the same family, grew up together? Yeah, like barbecues, parties, gatherings. Family stuff. You exactly. were cousins? No. Not blood You were cousins. raised as co like cousins. You were related through marriage, but exactly. not biologically related. Definitely. Exactly. You would consider him family if you were yes. out on the street, and that's why, Ms. Cologne, this was... It was very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. You know, if he wanted to be with you, you should have told him, no, we're family. I and didn't he was so... No. No, he was so persistent on trying to be with me. That I gave, okay, I gave in. So, Miss Santos, tell us how you ended up with Mr. Cologne. Okay, I was friends with another man. We had relations and everything. It was Raymond's 20th birthday. She threw a bash for him. We were all eating good, music good, drinking good. So I was, you know, feeling it. I was in my little vibe. He came up to me and smashed a cupcake in my face. That's, That's how we always we play. When we do a party, if the birthday boy gets it's lunch and birthday cake. Okay. That's normal. Family right. tradition. Family exactly. tradition. So then what happened? So he Santos. threw a cupcake in my face and he was like, come on, let's, let's go clean it off. So he took me to his bathroom and he kissed me. Okay. You should have so, respect, respected and that. I, I no, did at no, first because, you know, I pushed him back, but I was feeling good. We was feeling good. Like, so it, you just we, we're, we're not flow. blood. We're so not blood. So the bottom line. That was my whole thing. We're not blood. But in the end, you did give in and you slept with him. I did. Okay. I slept Was with it a one-time thing or were you having a relationship? No, it was one morning. It happened a couple of times that morning. But you were in a relationship with somebody else. Yes, I was. And Raymond knew that. And sexually active with that person yes. as well as Mr. Cologne. Well, yes. that's my case. And this was around the time of conception. Yes. I told Raymond um, that I was pregnant or whatever because me and Raymond was really close. He told me, um, is it mine or whatever? And I just looked at him. I was like, no, it can't be because I'm always with the other man. So we just, we just left it alone right there. He never so told me any, any kind of feelings When you told him that. you were pregnant, his immediate response was, could it be mine? Exactly. But you thought to yourself. I, I was in denial, completely in denial. No, it's not like, yours. It's not... I've been with this other guy exactly. all this time. It couldn't be yours. We exactly. only were together that one morning. Morning. Exactly. So when did you become convinced that Julius, your son, was Mr. Cologne's? I had my son in Florida. When he was about a year old, I came back to Chicago hoping that the other man would want a relationship with my son so my son could have a father. The other man didn't have no feelings towards my son whatsoever, and he kicked us out. Raymond personally told me, he said, well, you know, I heard that um, the other man kicked you out, and I don't want you in the streets with Julius. And he said that he wanted to get an apartment. He didn't want me out into the street. Um, all I have to worry about is cooking and cleaning for him, and he'll take care of the bills. That's all I knew. 
That's all he told me. So I looked for the apartment you and we moved in part. together. You skipped the part. Which what was? part did she skip, Miss Cologne? The before before the baby daddy, before the, the guy that fathered the child, apparently. Okay. okay. Her boyfriend Her at the boyfriend time. Her boyfriend at the time. Then she was alone for a little while. She hooked up with another man that she was living with, that Raymond was his friend. So Raymond would come out of work, come home, take a bath, eat something, and go to their house to play little video games. True or false? That's true. Okay. So you were with someone else before you were Raymond. Okay, but that so has Raymond nothing was to your do with this. Whether he's my third, first, fifth, 18. Raymond is not the father of this baby. I'm sorry. No. And, and Ms. Cologne, why are you so convinced? What is your doubt? She was living with someone else before, doing and after of the pregnancy. And the baby don't look nothing like I'm, us. The baby does not have the cologne nose. That's not, you know, that's not our Regardless family. of the fact whether that's his son. You don't see any resemblance no, to I your don't. son? No. If that's not his blood or not, she raised, I'm not going to sit here and fight with her. She raised a good man. He died loving my son. He died and loving he was everybody. He loved everybody. My son loved baseball, dominoes, strawberry milk, everything and anything because of that man. He didn't want to be the baby daddy. If he wanted the baby daddy, he would have told me. He told me that he gotten me pregnant that morning that we had relations on purpose. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Ms. Santos, I have to ask you this. Based upon the time you were intimate with the boyfriend and with Mr. Cologne, there is a chance he could be the father. There is. Or the other man. A 10% exactly. chance that Raymond could be the father. 10% chance. Yeah, because we only had sex 10%. Ms. Cologne, I have to ask you, are you denying the fact that your son could potentially be Julius's father you know because what? you're upset because they really crossed what you felt like no. was a familial boundary? My son, if he thought, by any slim chance, if he would have thought that Julius is my son. Let me go talk to my mom and dad and see if they'll help me pay a DNA test if I could be positive that it is my son. For when they took their trip to, to Florida last year, he could have gone to City Hall and signed his name on the birth certificate. If Raymond thought that it was his son, that it was definitely his son, he would have talked to us and told us. He never came to you and said, Mom, I really but think Julius is my son. No, he didn't. I'm and sorry. We had, we had a lot of confidence in each other. He told me everything. When he moved out of the, my house on Mother's Day of all days, okay, knowing that holidays are so special to me, on Mother's Day of all days, I come from church, his room is empty. Well, he went to, his, he went to live with his friend. He didn't say he, he went to live with Sarah. Then I find out he's with her. You come home from church on Mother's Day, you expecting to have some brunch and you don't have to cook it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's what you're expecting on Mother's Day. You're not expecting to come home and your child An has room. moved out of the house. And, and then I when you ask him. where he went, they say he went to live with a friend. You think it's a friend, a guy friend. They're getting a roommate. Yeah. Do you think he believed that Juju was his and that's why he, he moved was in baby daddy. with Miss Santos, but just was scared to tell you because no. he knew he had crossed that familial bound? No, he, he was playing baby daddy. He was not he was, playing baby he daddy was a good because we first moved man. in together as I a roommate. a good, responsible man. He put a roof over her head. Apparently, they were just roommates in the beginning, and then the relationship started. When I was told that they were living together, I said, no, 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 no. They're cousins, they cannot live together. All right, Miss Santos, you have a witness. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. My name is Rosalina Colon. Ms. Colon, thank you for coming today. Now, you are? Raymond Colon's sister, older, only sister. Mr. Colon's sister. Yes. And Ms. Colon's daughter. Daughter. I'm here on this side because my brother will be here saying that that's his son. You believe Juju is your brother's? Yes, Son. I believe that's my nephew. You believe it's your nephew? Yes. Why is it you believe it? He told me that he had got Sarah pregnant. And I was like, what, are you serious? And so I went and I confronted her. You know, I heard that baby might be my brother's. And she started laughing. She was like, well, there's a chance that it could be, but you know my situation. Me and her hang out all the time. As you know, we grow, grew up as cousins. Yes. So. 
me and her are like always together, you know? I'm not going against what my mom says or anything because we did grow up as cousins, but my brother and her did have relations. Why do you think your mom is so in denial over the fact that your brother may potentially be Juju's father? She doesn't believe that my brother would do something like that behind her back. Do you understand her doubt? Yes. As yes. her daughter, you understand her doubt. Yes. You just don't have the same doubt. Yes, true. I'm I'm not going against with whatever my mom says because my mom is totally right. Whatever she says, she's right. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> now that's right. a that's good daughter, mom. isn't it, Miss Hello? <laughs> she knows what cooks for her. Okay, <laughs> that's my mom. You, you know, know what side your bread is buttered on, right? Exactly. Uh, that's my mom. But I'm here because my brother told me from the beginning that's his baby. You know what I'm saying? And no a lot he took care of him. Them. Juju, still to this day, he asks for a poppy. And who's poppy? My brother. Miss Clone, you feel like Miss Santos is in this, is alleging that your son is her child's father for financial reasons. Definitely, yes. Explain. Okay, um, in Chicago, well, I don't know if in Illinois, but when a person works for so many time, for so long, okay, and has a spouse or a child, okay, the child will get Social Security benefits. Yes, so, it's because, not about money Because her child is, is growing up, his clothes are not fitting him anymore, his shoes don't fit him anymore, so she needs some financial support. Not so she's going for Social Security. Honestly, I do not care about no money. I care about whether my son is his or not so he can live on his legacy. My son loved that man and that man loved my son. And I just want to know so I could put my son as a cologne. I have to ask you, you know, in this courtroom, I've sat here and I've seen countless grandparents come, even in the unfortunate circumstance where their <clears throat> son is deceased. And many times they're hoping that the child is their sons so that they can have that living legacy as you talk about of, of, of their child. Yeah, but not and like yet this. here, not with these doubts, with these and yet games. here, is it just the doubt or are you hoping today that in fact this is your son's child? I'm hoping the fact that this is my son, my grandchild, you know what, if, if he's my grandson, if he's my grandson, okay, big fat if, he will have the same privileges that my other two granddaughters have. Do you have a relationship with him right now? Do you no. have a re no, no relationship? I left. I left Chicago. She I doesn't sold live in Chicago anymore. I sold my little car. I got rid of everything and I left. Raymond was buried and his yes, tombstone reads, son, brother, uncle, uncle and dad. Dad. And, dad. and why does it say dad? Because Raymond was playing baby daddy. You acknowledge that he was a daddy to this child. Yes. You just no, are not convinced was there is a biological no connection right. there. I need proof, real proof. If he is, then we will help the child. And if it's not, so please leave us alone. Just leave us alone, that's all. If the baby is not Raymond's, leave us alone. We'll That's do. all I want. You know, clean your hands with us and forget about us. Okay, let me grieve the way I should grieve. <sighs> she didn't lose her son. I did. He was my <laughs> baby that I lost. I want to grieve my baby. I just lost him. I just lost him six months ago. Let me grieve him. You know, you know. How do you think I feel that my son, all he asks for is for Raymond? We talked about marriage. We had our wedding colors planned out, everything. I didn't know nothing about that. He never told me anything. There wasn't a lot those of stuff things, he didn't tell those you. Those are things that I found out right after he died. You're his mother. Because we never, we never I talked about- I was his about... best friend, his lover. What I'm trying to make you understand, Ms. Santos, is just that Ms. Cologne, his mother, didn't know much of what you knew. She exactly. wasn't there. So not only is she having to deal with the loss of her son, she's also dealing with the allegation that your son is his son, that you all have a child together. And then on top of that, that he obviously planned a life or had plans to marry you, maybe. All of these things are new to her, and it's just been six months, so you have to understand 
her level of resistance is strong because there's so much happening at once. Now, this court is about finding a way to move forward because ultimately there is a beautiful young boy that regardless of what the biology says, he thought this man was his daddy. And we say in this courtroom all the time, and it takes biology to make a father and it takes love to make a daddy. So unfortunate. It, it, it's time for the results. <clears throat> Jerome. I would like to offer, uh, if there's anyone that'd like to take a seat, I know these results will, I'm sure, be emotional either way. If you'd like to sit down, please feel free at this time. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Santos versus Cologne, In the case of Santos versus Cologne, when it comes to the paternity of four-year-old Julius Juju Santos, it has been determined that Mr. Raymond Cologne is not <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know it. I know this was not the news you wanted to hear today. I'm just grateful that my son was raised. What a great man. And now it's time to honor his memory. And Miss Cologne after you do have a chance to just grieve the loss of your son, because you deserve that and you need that, I'm hoping that you will consider at least welcoming her back into your heart, because ultimately this was a child that was truly blessed and affected in a positive way because of your baby. Yes. If one day she comes back to Chicago, and close to us and comes to visit or something and I could yes. teach the child, you know, a little bit of manners, more than what my son did, I can't do. That's what family is about. There is a biological connection to family and then there is a love connection. I just encourage you all to stay focused on the love. Court is adjourned.